Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Wildcat and welcome to a very special editorial. Now, every college university out there, they go they basically go by different models, okay? And each one has a specific model that they live by, okay? It is embedded into the everyday culture of that particular university both academically and athletically. And if you were to go to a sporting event for this particular, for a particular university, you're going to be seeing that particular model preached throughout the entire game. Okay? So there's a different, everybody's got their own different model. But I'll give you an example of a couple that we, um, that are out there, and some of the more famous ones. USC, their model is fight on. Fight on for all we see, for all we see, fight on the victory, fight on. Arizona State, their model is fork em. University of Texas, hook em. University of Oklahoma, boomer sooner. Louisiana State, or LSU, go Tigers. Go spelled G-E-A-U-X, which is a Cajun spelling of the word go. Okay. It basically embeds the French culture that is embedded into the deep state of Louisiana. Okay. You have Auburn, which is War Eagle. Alabama, which is Roll Tie. West Virginia. Take Me Home Country Roads. Notre Dame is Play Like a Champion. And they also have another phrase, which is um, Win Win for the Gipper. But that's r rarely used. Penn State has We Are Penn State. Okay. The one motto that we're going to be digging further into depth today is the one that's used by the University of Arizona. Okay. And our motto is bear down. B E A R D O W N. Okay. This has nothing to do with taking bears down. All right? Which is what some people would probably interpret it as. It's not. Okay? We know that there's a lot of people, a lot of subscribers to my channel that are not from Arizona. And they probably, um, and all, a lot of you are probably wondering, like, what does this phrase bear down mean? And why is it embedded into the everyday culture of the University of Arizona? Well, I'm about to explain that to you today. Okay? What is, we're going to be answering today three different questions. The first one is, what does bear down mean? How does it apply to the University of Arizona? Number two, what are the origins, I mean, where did the phrase bear down come from, and how was it introduced to the university campus? And number three, how has that phrase become embedded into the everyday culture of the University of Arizona? And what, has, uh, and what kind of things have been done since to ensure that the legacy lives on? Okay? So why don't we start off with the official definition, okay? We have to pull up a collegiate dictionary, okay? So the, d the definition of bear down in the terms of the Arizona Wildcats motto is to put more effort into doing something, all right? How would you... So the one way you would use this in a sentence would be, we're giving up too many points. We have to bear down. Okay? So, how does it apply to the University of Arizona? Well, we would have to go back about a, nearly a whole century ago, back to the mid-1920s, in order for us to get that answer. There's a famous individual... Uh, who was a student at the University of Arizona at the time, not just any student, but 
student body president, starting quarterback for the Arizona Wildcats football team, catcher for the Wildcats baseball team, a member of the Sigma Nu fraternity, and the Chain Gain Junior Honorary. This guy is named John Button Salmon. Okay? You guys are probably... Those of you who have gone to the University of Arizona or have attended football games or something like that, you probably have heard of this individual before. Okay? So going back to 1926, okay, the day after the first game of the 1926 season, Salmon and two others, they were basically, they took a day trip up to Phoenix, and on their way back, they winded up involved in, they got involved in an automobile accident somewhere near Florence, okay, which is to the east of Casa Grande, okay, it's in between Phoenix and Tucson, for those who do not know, okay, the vehicle flipped over in a ravine, okay, Salmon's friends were not injured, but Salmon wound up suffering a severe spinal cord injury, and he wound up getting taken to the emergency room, okay? Where he wound up having to get some treatment, okay? The football coach at the time, Pop McHale, all right? You guys have probably heard that name before. It is what, um, okay, McHale is what the University of Arizona wound up naming its basketball arena after, which went up in 1973, okay? And it's been the home of the men's and women's basketball teams as well as the volleyball program since February 1st, 1973 and holds about and uh, let's see I think I don't want to give an actual okay. I believe it is a capacity of bear with me here Just under 15,000 fans, okay? It is the second largest basketball arena in the country, in the Pac-12, just under the University of Utah, all right? But I mean, going back to Bear Down, okay? Pop Miguel, he was the football coach for the Arizona Wildcats at the time. He would make frequent visits to Salmon every single day, Okay? During McHale's final visit, Salmon gave a message to his teammates. Tell them. Tell the team to bear down. Shortly after Salmon gave this message to Pop McHale, he pa Salmon passed away on October 18, 1926. Following the Salmon's funeral, Mikhail reportedly told the team what had been told to him in a Las Cruces, New Mexico locker room before a football game before the New Mexico State Aggies. And at the time, it was called New Mexico A&M. Arizona Wildcats wanted up fighting a hard fought. They wanted to fight in a very fierce game, winning 7 to nothing. Okay? And they take this freight, and they took Salmon's final quote to heart, and they credit that for helping them come out victorious. Okay. The following year, the student body adapted the slogan for use with all Wildcat athletic teams. That year, the chain gain a honorary organization, a junior honorary organization at the University of Arizona held a dance in the newly constructed University Gymnasium to help raise funds to paint the slogan on the roof of the building. Okay. The words are still featured on the roof of the gymnasium, which is now known as the Bear Down Gymnasium. Okay. <clears throat> so what they basically did was they, on each side of the okay 
So you have the main entrance right here, and then you have it's basically a long rectangle. On both sides of the roof, you basically have the phrase bear down painted on both sides of the roof. Okay? And Bear Down Gymnasium would eventually become the home of the Arizona Wildcats basketball team for about 45 years until the early 70s when U of A basketball became so, so huge they needed a bigger arena in order to accommodate the larger crowds. And that's where McHale Center came into play. Okay. And according to some notes here, um, the Ari in 1939, the Arizona State Legislature, the State Legislature for Arizona issued a decree that Bear Down would be the exclusive property of the University of Arizona. However, um, this is not official. Um, there's no way to officially declare this as a credible source. Okay. But what did this wind up doing? Okay. Painting the phrase on the top of the gymnasium led to another huge thing for the Arizona Wildcats. Okay. In 1952, Jack K. Lee, all right, he was a candidate who applied for the band director for the University of Arizona's Pride of Arizona Band. Okay. He was flying over Tucson when he noticed the phrase bear down written on top of the gymnasium. And it inspired him to write the unofficial fight song used today by the Arizona Wildcats called Bear Down Arizona. Okay. Bear down Arizona. Bear down, red and blue, bear down, Arizona, hit them hard, let them know who's who, bear down, Arizona, bear down, red and blue, go, go, wildcats go, Arizona, bear down. This song is better well known um, by Wildcat fans and a lot and student body in general even though um, we know the the melody to both bear down and the official fight song which is fight Wildcats fight it is bear down Arizona that everybody knows the lyrics to you cannot call yourself a University of Arizona alumni unless you know the lyrics of Bear Down Arizona inside and out. Um, forget the, um, not just alumni, but you want to call yourself a Arizona Wildcat fan? You better know that song inside and out. All right? So basically, um, During uh, Jack's visit to the university for his job interview, he was given a tour of the campus and was told the story of the Bear Down slogan. Okay. Lee saw the slogan painted on the roof of the gymnasium as he was flying out of Tucson. He was struck by inspiration, took an air sickness bag from the seat pocket of the plane and wrote in pencil the lyrics to Bear Down, Arizona. And Lee was offered the band director job. The song was publicly performed for the first time ever in September 1952 by the U of A band at a pep rally in downtown Tucson. A replica of the original manuscript, created by Lee on a paper sack, is displayed in the Alumni Heritage Lounge on the main floor of the Student Union Memorial Center on the university campus. Okay. All right. So, so now that you have not, now that you know the phrase "bear down" and where it comes from, and you also know why it is part of the uh, University of Arizona culture, okay. 
Until the next time, that is all the time we have for today. And until the next time we meet, Mr. Wildcat is here reminding you to be good, be careful, behave, and bear down, cats. <laughs>